Welcome back to the channel guys. Last week you seen us get all these tins mocked up so we can get them ready for paint. Uh, this week we did get some parts in the mail so we can keep moving forward. We finally got our wheel spacer kit in. This back tire though I believe is off a 99 and up so we are still going to have to make it work. The spacer kit is for a 99 and under. I didn't think of that when I ordered it. But we're going to start with the back tire and then we're going to move our way up to making the brackets to mount the headlight. So we're going to start with pulling the back tire off, get it completely off the bike, see what this spacer kit entails to do. To do that we're going to pull the fender and the sissy bar back off and then we'll get the tire out. We've been messing around with this back tire for about a half an hour now trying to get it centered and the kit that we ordered for the axle spacers is not going to work for our setup. Uh, we waited three weeks to get this kit and it turns out I'm just going to end up making my own spacers. So I got to tear it all back apart, get the tire figured out center wise and then make my own spacers. By my calculations I got to take about an eighth of an inch off of this spacer but I'm going to start by taking a sixteenth off because it's always easier to take material off than it is to add material on. So we're going to start by taking a sixteenth off and bring it back to the bike, mock everything up again and see where we are. Spent a lot of time off camera screwing around trying to get these spacers to work. Uh, you see Vince was working on the lathe trying to mill it trying to lay it down a little bit but we finally got it centered we're happy where it is and we have clearance everywhere we need it to be so we're going to get the back fender on so that we can get it placed in put the sissy bar on and get that finished up Moving on to the headlight now, we're going to mount it off the front end here. Uh, we're just trying to figure out where we want it height wise. We want to be able to see the th uh, front springs here still. So we might come out and up with the angle. We have angle iron that we're going to use for yeah, the bracket. We have one by one angle iron. We either, actually if we come straight out, that's probably not a bad height. Or we can put a notch in this and kick it up. So it's up here more. Too. No, I like it lower. Yeah. Well, let's try that first. So we're going to cut this angle iron off straight and we'll mount the head like there, see what it looks like, and then we can adjust it. We've cut out the brackets that are going to mount like this. I went and marked my holes and uh, uh, center popped them. What we're going to do is drill the holes out, mount the brackets to the headlight, and then we can center it on the front forks here, and then we can pick where we want to drill and tap our holes. We've got our brackets all done now. We've rounded off the corners all nice. We might go ahead and put some holes in here to streamline it a little bit better. Uh, we have a feeling that this part here might be hollow. So our idea of drilling and tapping might not work, but we're gonna run a pilot drill through first and just see what's in there. And uh, if it is hollow, then we're gonna have to weld the brackets on. The brackets are all done, we drilled and tapped the front forks, everything's mounted, the headlight looks good, um, it gives it the nice streamlined look and it's a nice bright LED light. What we might do now is hook some power up to it, just to show you guys what the headlight looks like with some power and then uh, we'll go from there. So we got this booster pack here and we've got a jumper plug for the back of it just to show you guys what this light looks like. So that is... High beam or low beam? low beam? That's low beam there. That's going to be high beam. And another cool option that came with this light is there's uh, red running lights that go inside of it. So we're going to hook that up on a toggle so we can have that as well.
That'll be it for today. We've got the bike mocked up to where we're happy with it. The next step is to take all these panels off, get them prepped and ready for paint. And uh, at the same time, we got to loom all the wiring and we still got oil lines and stuff that we're going to run, but that'll be probably in next week's video. So please stay tuned to that. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next week.